Hi guys, Andy here. You may have seen a short while ago I unboxed and had a look around my new Chromecast. A lot of people are asking, well, is it worthwhile upgrading from the old one to the new one? Um, obviously the internals of the new Chromecast are slightly more advanced, they're slightly better, but how much difference does it really make? Uh, one thing I've noticed since getting my new router, uh, the old Chromecast can only connect to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network, but the new one can connect to the 5 GHz. Obviously then other bits and pieces inside, I don't know the technicalities of it, but uh, they're, they're going to be better and newer and faster. But how much difference does it really make? So I thought I'd use them both uh, and make a video showing you what difference it makes. The first test is simply just turning on the TV so that the power has been totally off. Um, you see we've got a clock running there as well. How long does it take the TV to boot up itself, which is, should be a, a constant, and then how long does it take the Chromecast to sort of initiate, connect to the Wi-Fi network and communicate with my phone showing that I can cast to it. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the little cast icon to appear in the Netflix app. And we should see the new Chromecast clocks up 26.1 from cold to connected. So how much further behind will the own cro old Chromecast? 32.6. So not a huge amount, six and a bit, six and a half, I think, exactly. Seconds difference. Um, not a massive amount, is it? Is it? Does it matter much? I don't know. That's up to you. I'm just giving. I'm just going to give you the facts. You decide if that makes a big difference or not. Then the second test is I'm going to start playing some. We're already connected. No, sorry, we're not. I'm going to start playing some. Then I'm going to cast it up to the screen. We start the timer again, and we see how long it start, takes to start playing on the TV. And we should see the new Chromecast clocks up at 10.2, and the old Chromecast. How far behind is it going to be? 16.8 so not massive amounts of difference there um, if we add them to them together 26.1 was it and 10.2 comes to 36.3 for the new Chromecast uh, and that's kind of a rough idea how long it might take you to turn on and get playing something and the old Chromecast 32.6 and then 16.8 comes to 49.4 so, I mean, I don't know, the mathematicians can tell you it's probably oh, that's around 30% longer, 33, 35, somewhere around there. Um, is that a big enough deal? I don't know. I Like I say, I'm just here to give you some figures. You can decide after that. I quite like it. It does seem, you know, I mean, obviously I've just shown it there with the figures, but it does seem quicker and faster and snappier. So for the small price that you pay, personally, I've, I've upgraded both of my Chromecast in the living room and the bedroom. But uh, if you want to, that's up to you. I've given you the figures. I've shown you the difference it makes. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.